Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play <clears throat> Metroid Prime 2. Obviously, I just wanted to show you something uh, in the whole loading process. Every single time you uh, like get a suit upgrade on this, it shows you. So at the beginning it shows Samus with her uh, good old fashioned um, very uh, upgraded power suit. But uh, yeah, it ch changes as you get more suit upgrades and stuff. So you'll you'll notice that I'll, I will point them out, and I will show you them like every single time. We have to load after getting a new suit or whatever. But I think there's only three of them in this game, so that's all right. Anyway, last time we uh, left off, we were in this room after spending a ridiculous amount of time on our first part. Sorry about that. I didn't really mean to take so long, but uh, I didn't really want to stop. Well. As you can see, there's uh, more of these doors, but they've got different coloured things. Never mind. Anyway, this is uh, going to be a, our first boss battle. Our first boss is up in that thing. So that weird purple parasite thing is attacked again. So I'm just going to turn this down on my laptop because it's loud. <laughs> I want to try and see if I can scan that. Ugh. Uncool. Now I swear you can get extra missiles for this point. I probably missed something. I will go back and get all like the uh, upgrades that I miss. Like, as a result of not picking them up as I go along, you know. Anyway, actually playing this on the Wii makes this a hell of a lot easier because playing this on the GameCube was quite difficult. Obviously, you had to lock on to them to really hit them. But on this, you can just kind of jump around like a lunatic. And I'm just going to keep jumping so if they do jump at me, they probably won't hit me. Well, that's, that's the logic, at least. Oh come on, let's just let's go bye bye now. Right, I'm fine, I'm gonna lock on to you guys because it's taking too long. And of course now the big one breaks and we have to fight a big one. Ow, sorry, I had to scratch my eye. My eye's itchy. Oh, let's do it now. Uh oh. it's because I haven't been up that long. It's only like ten past ten in the morning. It's the alpha male of a war pack. It's pretty big, yeah. Basically these guys just try and smash into you. Unfortunately this isn't like the boss yet. Because you can't actually kill this thing. as you'll see. So that makes it into a dark one. Yeah, this is fairly much... A lot of the enemies in the game have this sort of look to them. You'll see. But this is like the first of sort of many. Sort of, not bosses per se. Well, this is kind of a boss. It's got like a title and it's got a health bar. So you could kind of like sort of relate this to the Parasite Queen on Metro Prime 1, I guess. In terms of how hard it is to beat. I think I died the first time I fought it, though. So anyway... Hmm, that's not good. I don't want my screen turning off. I'll just bring that up so it doesn't, you know. Uh, 
Anyway, yeah, weird blue ball thing comes out of it. Can I scan this thing? Apparently. T unknown technology. Fair enough. It's going to be some sort of weird cool ability, maybe. Well, whatever it is, it's fused with the suit. So apparently, it's uh, not dodgy. It's not like a virus or anything. Ah, uh, viruses. I haven't had a virus on my computer in... Well, I've never had a virus on my laptop. Never. Ah. Oh, kind of wanted to scan stuff before the cutscene. Never mind. Samus, you need to chill. Do not be afraid, I am Umos, Sentinel of the Luminoth. Please listen and hear our world's peril. Long ago, a cosmic object fell to our planet Aether, exploding with great force. A rift was torn in time and space, and a strange power flowed over the world. Where well, once there was one Aether, there was now there were now two, one of light and one of shadow, each existing in its own dimension. It was the end of peace on Aether, for a new race was born that day on the Dark World, one filled with hate and terrible power. They are the Eng. The Eng are creatures of shadow and darkness, knowing nothing of peace or mercy. For decades we stood against them, now lie on the verge of defeat. When Darth Dark Aether was born, our planetary energy was divided, half for our world and half for theirs. Should one world gain control of this energy, the other will perish. Before you arrived, the Ink had stolen a device from us, one that collects planetary energy. With it, they have weakened our planet to the verge of collapse. But fortune smiled upon us this day, for the energy transfer module is now bonded to you. With it, you can help us. Help us restore our world. You are our only hope, Samus. By the way, it's like he knew her name automatically. Should we fall, the Ing t will look to the stars for a new planet to ravage and conquer. Your species could be their next victims. The Ing have taken our energy to three temples on Dark Aether. Find these temples and transfer the energy from them to our own. I have uploaded a map. Your map system with the location of another temple. There is knowledge there that can help you on your way. I have also updated your translator module. You can n now access doors and devices coded with violet holograms. Many lands are now open to you. Prepare well for your journey. The Ing now know that you possess the energy transfer module. They will try and recover it at all costs. Return to me once you have restored the energy to a temple. I will aid you as I can. May the light of Aether shine upon you. Yeah, this guy always uh, heals you up and stuff. So we study him. And uh, Sentinel. Sentinel of the Umoth, uh, Luminoff. Yeah, he said something about that. Heightened reflexes, durability, psionics, whatever that is, and flight. They can actually fly. They've got wings. With the ability to generate and manipulate energy on par with that of the Chozo. So they're about as awesome as the Chozos. Hmm. Remaining Uman off locked in a protective status until crisis is resolved. Right, okay. So you can imagine that all the other Luminoff have been put to sleep in some chambers of some kind so to make sure they don't actually die. Um, the weather control system is powered by this as a teleportation system is as well. 
Um, so because of the whole dark world mirroring the light world, the um, everything is pretty much copied. Yeah, you can here actually like deflects laser shots, which is cool. Right, okay, I'll tell you about that again in a minute. Uh, it's told that the Luminoth were not born of either, but of the stars. In the gr early days, we roamed the greatness of the void, bathing in the glorious light of a thousand stars. We met a vast number of enlightened minds, like the Incric and Yilla, and the Chozo among them. Each of them, we found, had claimed a home world and formed a deep bond with it. In time, we decided to do the same. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, cool. Um, but because this is obviously like a mirror image, well, the Dark World is a mirror image of this place. Um, how the frick do I get out? Oh. <laughs> okay, because the Dark World is a, like a mirror image of this place. Um, everything, pretty much everything has been copied. Like, if the Dark World, like, destroys a part of itself, obviously, that doesn't affect the Light World, but because the Dark World is a basically a copy of the light world you see the effects well the light world kind of everything kind of gets copied over if that makes sense um, so let's see what have we got we've got green yellow and purple so we have to start off with purple obviously because that's the only one we've been given the updated uh, translator modules okay these things are kind of annoying so don't get too close I shoot lightning out at you. Um, so it's an aggressive flying drone, one loyal to the Luminoth. So anything that isn't a Luminoth, it will try to kill. Let's get rid of these quick because they shoot like a weird little light lightning bolt at you. It doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but it's just like you don't really want to get hit by it if you can avoid it. So now this door opens, and uh, I could do with some missiles. Yeah, great. There, guys. I'm going in here to claim my first expansion pack. For the energy tanks, of course. Okay, well you can't jump through the door, so I can just stand here shooting you like this. Bloody hell, those things can jump far. I don't know why they both bother giving you charge beam, because charge beam is more powerful than a missile. So they shouldn't really have given you charge beam immediately, I don't think. Yeah, so here we go, here's one of those f fabled uh, uh, balls to you. Balls to you! <laughs> oh, I didn't get anything out of that. That's not so, that's not so good. That ain't so good, is it? I'm still trying to work out what the hell these little things are stuck in the uh, goop. Goopala goopa goop. So I assume I'm going the right way here to be heading backwards. Yeah, this is where I wanted to be. Guaranteed any splinters that are around here will kind of go dark. Uh, apparently there aren't any. That's fine. Uh, okay. 
Their army swells, beasts and rogue machines join the ranks of the Horde, all eager to bring death to the Luminoff. The Eng sent these new additions to the industrial site to do battle with me. While they watched from safety, the cowardly mongrels, my only regret in death is that I did not live to see the day of their defeat. May it come soon. I was expecting it to say destruction. Hence why I kind of stumbled on the word defeat. Yeah, interesting. So let's head on down into... Uh... Actually, that's the thing. Each area, you kind of got like a... Um... Sort of extra place before you kind of reach... Well, at least I think that's how it works here. Yeah? I think you've got like an extra little area of either before you kind of into the... Uh... No, I am actually in... I am actually in uh, the place that I think I am. It's interesting. So this place looks very dusty, doesn't it? Sandstorms and heat exposure. Now these things are interesting, they become a bit of a nuisance later. Thrives on the light and can resend, render itself invisible to most predators while within it. When out of the light, the creature is relatively harmless, relying on crudely spat chunk of biomatter to defend itself. Once in the light, it can channel large amounts of solar energy into a deadly blast. So you want to kind of stay away from it when it's in the light. This is a very interesting take on... Uh, a Metroid world. I must say, I was quite proud of what they did with this game. After the first one, which kind of goes through the whole the winter, like a like a Norfair sort of place, um, the Phasm Mines were interesting, um, but they kind of I think they kind of branched out a little bit here with like a desert. They did like a sw they do like a swamp later, and the final place is a. Uh, Like like an industrial place, like he said something about that. So this is a, a quite bizarre enemy. It has two ends. Um, basically, you just have to kind of blow both heads up. And then it dies after you killed both heads. I tried to think what it's doing there. Okay, well I'm going to need some missiles if I want to go anywhere here. Well, it's not really get a case of getting anywhere, it's a case of uh, just wanting to save and end this episode, because that room has a save... that room has a save room. So that one had a uh, health pack in it. I'm hoping one of these will have missiles in them. They'll have to, I guess. What? Needs missiles. Any of you guys got anything for me? Isn't that just dandy? I guess I'll, uh check in here and see what we got in here. See if I can... Oh yeah, we're back in here. Um, let's see if we can just get some items off them. I don't know if they're these are the sort of enemies that drop items, though. Well, that's just a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Can I have some more missiles, please? Thank you! Anywhere got any missiles for me? Anywhere? Maybe you do. I've left the room. Come on. Just give me some missiles. Explode, please. Come on. Explode! 
Is that really funny bit on Scrubs with the janitor? Thinks he has mind control powers. Well, you'd like to believe he does. <laughs> Head blood, please. Can I? Yes, thank you. Okay, let's uh, get on out of here for the time being. Um, we'll save and uh, that'll be it. Hmm. Good, good. So yes, I'm going to save. And I'm going to reach forward for my capture card. <laughs> and just uh, show this lovely animation of me being uh, healed. And Samus's eyes. And uh, that's all for this time. So I'll see you all next time on Let's Play Metro Prime 2 Echoes. Take care, guys.